Welcome back to Star Drive 2 everyone, we're, we're at war with the Raleigh and the humans and um, we're uh, in the process of trying to uh, take more of the Raleigh's worlds. Let's, let's uh, just uh, get things going. Okay, so command point limited. Well, good, we've eliminated a mole. Mole steal your technology. So that's good and uh, our construction ship has finished this task, which is good. Um, we'll just leave him there for now, I think, in case we want him to come down and um, deal with uh, anything that might develop down here. Let's see where this fleet's going. This is our fleet that we're sending to deal with the with the humans. Okay, let's uh, end that turn. Is, what's that fleet doing? It's absolutely. <laughs> there's a UI error where um, the, the, the Raleigh fleets appear to be massive. And again, so yeah, that fleet is actually moving to attack one of our worlds. Hmm. So we may need to bring this fleet back, actually. Don't know if it'll get there in time. Um, Maybe if we go to that subspace, if we go to this subspace projector, and then on, maybe. Hmm. They've got to go through this nebula, which will slow them down. And um, we've eliminated the spy. Send the turn. Oh, they've changed direction. Okay. Well, have we refueled yet? Not yet. Okay, so refuel at that world. This fleet can then. Um, oh, let's uh, let's stay at our home world of Tor, which is uh, building a um, our first battleship type uh, ship, which we've actually designed as a as a large carrier. Um, oh, the quarters you can store antimatter cannons from us. That is my research lab. Let's go. Um, this is one of our better worlds with uh, the potential for 22 population. So let's actually start moving some of them into science. And uh, yeah, so let's go with that to get more science per scientist. And that done. Yeah, this enemy fleet obviously doesn't know what it wants to do, so let's see whether we can um, take it out before it causes any mischief. Oh dear, so that is our exploration frigate and it's come across some remnant forces, so if I fight I may be able to retreat. Let's, uh, let's put him all the way back of the deployment zone. Begin and retreat. Yeah, they're quite slow moving. So he should get away. Just have a little drink of tea whilst, uh, whilst the clock counts down. was that? I sent it off to go and explore another cluster, so I need to have a look at where that occurred. Uh, right, okay, so it actually got to that cluster. There is a world of... there's 21 out of 3 people? That's very, that's very odd, we'll have to take a look at that. Go and have a look there. What else have we found? Large abundant worlds, helium three, photoactive flora, more approval, less production, a shipyard, and a beautiful world, but it's uh, huge and toxic. Hmm. Okay. 
Our command points have been exceeded. Yes, we know that. I thought I was going to build. Yeah, so we've built our new um, new ship this turn. So we've got our uh, new carrier. Let's uh, send it in the direction of the humans and on tour itself. Let's get that planetary uh, supercomputer. Direct that fleet now to attack the enemy. Let's uh, end the turn. Hostile fleet. So who are these? Uh, it's a human fleet. Oh, okay, they've they basically seem to have um, gone through the wormhole and then come the long way around. And uh, yeah, damn, there's not going to be any defensive troops there. Okay, well we need to um, move as swiftly as we can um, if I move yeah if I move here I'll be one turn because I've got the 156 speed boost from the um, from the subspace projectors that's uh, it's very frustrating we might lose that world do we have any Hmm, do we have any troops nearby? Okay, yeah, we've got some troops there. And okay, so we've got troops available for a um, for a counterattack. Can we get there? How many turns? Oh, we could <laughs> we could apparently get there in one turn. Because of the speed boost, 312. God, I, don't, I, I really don't know how these subspace projectors work, but if it can get us there, that would be bloody brilliant. Um, let's see what needs to be done. We've got a constructor over here. Maybe, yeah, maybe a subspace projector there. Build a, build a network of them. So our explorer. Let's uh, let's talk with whoever's here. Okay, they're um. Oh Christ, they they. Uh... I'm not gonna read that out because it's they sound like the fucking gun guns, and um. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, we don't need shield two technology. Um, make our people happier. No, let's let's leave. Um, I think if we were ever to bombard a planet from space and um, wipe somebody out, it might be it might be sort of the Gungan sounding little fish people. Hmm. Okay, let's see if this fleet can actually make that move. No, it didn't quite get there, but it got. Uh, Closer than I thought. Uh, this fleet seems to have, uh, seems to be faster than us. Um, so it's travelling at ten. We are travelling at also ten. Okay. <coughs> hmm. What if I said to go there? What would be the quickest way? Yeah, it's kind of the same path. Okay, let's um, let's just have a look. Cause we have, have we got any troops? We do have two. But let's um, let's get an infantry base. Six turns. And let's rush that. Just so that if they do arrive there, we've at least got some ground forces to. Um, resist them and uh, they, they've arrived there the humans have arrived ah. so the Volfar are at war with the Opterus so I'm really not too bothered about their threats to be honest fighter shields however is interesting let's go with that actually <laughs>
and obviously the humans are going to take this asteroid, which is a shame. Did they even... yeah, there is a human fleet there. Uh, so we've eliminated a spy, we lost a colony, we've got fighter shields, um, we've completed that infantry base. Let's go with an aeroponic farm. University, good, good, good. Spaceport, actually. Uh, yeah, let's get a spaceport for some more money. And the spaceport has been built here. Uh, let's get a research lab because it does give a flat bonus to science. Run on a two as a mine. And um, let's go with an Imperial Bank. It's very hard to go wrong with one of those. Uh, there's a colony ship coming into our space. Let's send our little um, Tantos to go and uh, go and intercept it. We'll go actually we'll go to the planet first. Or do we let it colonize and then um, it's got orbital habitats? Yeah, do you know what? Let's um, yeah, we'll send the the um, Tantos there. We'll let them colonize it, I think, and then just go nab it off them. Let's um, end the turn. Oh, fine, good. We finally call that for the so Let's fight this battle. And begin. These no Dacha, I need to just stay where they are. Quite a lot of enemy ships. They they build loads of them, but they're a bit squishy. Let's focus on this one. Still going, but we've damaged them. Be better if we could focus fire. Okay. There we go. They uh, they really struggle to deal with these uh, with these cannons. But uh, yeah, the battle is fragmented. That's All go for the big one. You guys better come back up this way. Still haven't quite worked out what these purple beams are, but I see them as the disruptors. disruptors. And then there's another enemy one. Oh, we've got two. That looked pretty good. Might, uh, I might use that as a screenshot for the, uh, for the YouTube video. Right, don't let him retreat. That's it. Great stuff. Um, it would have been so annoying to lose another world to them. So they're retreating that way. Okay, now we've got to fight with the humans. So let's see what kind of uh, firepower they've got. So the first thing to do is to launch all the fighters. And begin. Are you going to launch your fighters? Do I need to click it again? There we go. There they go. Oh, plenty of them. Let's wait for. Oh, Christ, they've got a proper armada, haven't they? Ooh, we might be overwhelmed. Let's uh, target the first one. Target. 
this one. Do a false sense of security by the way. The humans are a significant threat. Come, I ask it. Saratoga, uh, 52 damage, 52,000 damage. Uh, what about our ships? How do we get on? So, um, I mean, the humans just had so many ships. That's one thing. Yeah, um, yeah it took 32, only dished out 10. Oh gosh, guys, we've um, been very complacent. Ronin dished out 45 but took 46. The uh, Akagi dished out 58. Let's fight this one, dished out some stuff as well. Took 65. Hmm. Okay. We need to. Um, we need to get onto a proper military footing rather than sort of this uh, pussy footing around that we've been doing. We've got eight troops, so there should be a delay between them being able to attack our next world. Um, let's have a look at the design of the start and the design of a frigate. Antimatter cannons. Mm, they they need both um, ordnance and power, so I don't think they're going to be too good. Fusion beams. Um, what about torpedoes? Mm. Yeah, few. Um, actually, these disruptor cannons are pretty good. Could we have two? Uh, maybe we have three kind of forward firing disruptor cannons. They just use energy, which is good. So, in terms of engines, we're going to need. There, and we've got antimatter, an antimatter reactor that powers everything. A <coughs> excuse me. Um, do you want a greater? How big is it? Oh, it's quite big. That, that um, so no sensor array. I don't think we'll want that. So particle capacitors. No, 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 no. Fuel cells, let's give it a fuel tank. We'll put some fuel tanks in the wings. Command, just a small module. And uh, we will obviously need power capacitors as well. So let's go like that. Defenses, we absolutely must have shields. So a medium shield. Yep. What's our so 
power drain. Yeah, that's that's okay. We want to keep moving and uh, keep moving and frontal firing. So the speed is 38. Do we want to add anything else on? Um, we do potentially have the power for Delta Shield. Which might just help give, uh, give it some greater survivability. Let's um, let's leave the design like that. Actually, um, we could add some armor, but it'll slow it down. Yeah, let's let's keep them very lightly armored, and um, let's call it uh, disruptor. Uh, right. Save that, exit out that, and on Trojan then, let's build some, uh, let's edit the roster, we will swap out the Ronin for the Disruptor Ronin. And what's our weak capacity like? Obviously <laughs> well within it now, we've suffered that defeat. Um, frigates, yeah, so we can build plenty of those. Let's get four to begin with. How long do they take? Eight turns, okay. Oh. That's going to need to bring them down to five turns. And uh, let's build another four here. How quickly do you guys produce three turns? Okay, that's more like it. So we should start to build a little fleet here, and then, okay, Tor, that planetary supercomputer, next turn. What about Armour? That's turning into a, slowly into a good production world. And we need to bring this fleet back to refuel here. End the turn. Okay, so we've uh, completed research into the Dimensional Rift. Um, since the discovery of start the drive, we have been manipulating what we call subspace to repel our ships faster than light. But the gap between what we have been doing with subspace and what is occurring with these rifts is substantial. Um, and we think we finally understand it, but simply we discovered subspace purely by accident. We had focused so much energy into a single point of space that we tore a hole in it. We learned that we could expand the hole, that we could create a um, pocket of subspace and put a ship into it, and this discovery obviously changed the our way of life. It gave, us, it gave the stars to us. The rift we've discovered is essentially the same phenomenon, but on a massive scale. Um, it is a tear in our space-time, and it is being created from within subspace. To put it simply, an intelligent species resides in subspace and possesses the capability of opening tears like this at will. The power and knowledge of these people, these masters, must we, the power and knowledge of these people, these masters, we must be like children to them. As a result of this research, we can now traverse through a dimensional rift. I see. Okay. So we constructed the planetary supercomputer at Tor. Let's build one of the Akagis again. Because they did they did quite well. Just uh, over overwhelmed by enemy numbers, and I think I also want to design kind of a, a brawler type uh, cruiser as well. But, yeah, um, let's. Oh, their fleet is moving out. There's troops there. Where? Where are those troops potentially going? These two worlds have. Infantry guarding them. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, send the turn. If the enemy fleet does pull back, we might be able to launch a ground offensive without um, without needing to retake space superiority, which would be interesting. 
might be quite a nice little uh, coup for us. And the turn. Yeah, we're coming over that fleet. Okay, so we've got our first disruptor running. And we've uh, built that area of my farm. What's the population like here? Yeah, three out of five. So still got room to room to grow. Let's go with the Imperial Bank. ETA ten turns because it's been slowed down by this nebula. So any quicker way of getting the hell out of there? No, oh, not really. Let's see if they continue to move off. Yeah, they have done. So, why don't we... How many troops are on the planet? Zero, apparently. So why don't we just launch two? Almost like a little commando raid. See whether we can take back the asteroid field. Okay, we've followed an enemy spy. And this turn. Uh, an unidentified signal source. I assume there should be text here. But, um, oh well. Is this uh, Explorer refueled? Okay, well, we can go and see what's, uh, what's there. Okay, so we've got more of these little ships. Let's try and collect them together. Yeah, it looks like they are going to colonise that world. Um, so maybe let's launch another two two transports here. Go in this direction. Okay, end the turn. So yeah, they did. Uh, they did colonise that world. Orbital habitats. Okay, well, let's go and um, go and grab that before they can do anything to defend it. And uh, end the turn. Yes, deploy and fight. And we've managed to steal battle stations. Great. And then savory cantina research. Okay, I don't know what that does because um, the uh, the text isn't working, which is a bit of a shame. But um, let's start. Oh, there we go. Ah, um, and Savory Cantina, a social experiment in providing a place where laws simply don't apply. When your people have an unsavory itch, they come to here to scratch it. Plus 15% approval. Um, but it's very expensive. Okay. So we got that. And uh, yeah, we've got Battle Station, so that's pretty, pretty handy. Oh, we didn't steal it, we, we researched that. I thought I was researching it. Uh, no, hang on. Oh yeah, so Battle Station, was was that the... Um, oh, I'm so good. Oh, oh, I see. So we got Unsavory Cantina from our own, um, sort of, uh, our own experimental technology line. And we, we stole Battle Stations. Okay, right. Um, I think we need some better armor, don't we? Um, and we've got two options. I really don't know which is best. Um, oh, so this Ionium armor requires an energy feed, whereas this is more. Um, yeah, so this gives. Um, yeah, okay, well, we'll go that. That's kind of more conventional armor when we look at it. Slows you down, gives protection. Transport is going over there. Have these guys managed to refuel yet? No, I just wanted to click on the fleet. No, not yet, but I imagine they will do next turn. Um, though we should then go and destroy that constructor. Okay, end that turn. And deploy. And fight. Um, okay, we, we stole constructor privatization. We'll leave those troop troops there. In fact, let's, uh, let's build an infantry base. 
just to try and secure it further. Okay, so we've got our world back. Um, and Arma 2 now is a spaceport. The population is increasing nicely here. Let's go with more production, I think, if I can. I, don't, I think I've got it all, actually. So we could upgrade um, to a battle station. I think perhaps we will. We almost certainly want to do that at some point. Let's go with the orbital shipyard for now, though. Uh, send this fleet to go and take out that constructor. And this turn. Oh gosh. Um, so they've got to have a lot of crystals in, in that area. If I fight, then I can perhaps again escape. Begin. Escape and let's uh, let's whack the speed up so that we're not uh, spending too long watching it. Oh, will they get him? Will they get? Oh no, we got <laughs> close. Hmm. Okay, so we've eliminated a spy. So what I'll do, guys, I'll leave the um, I'll leave the video here. I uh, hope you've liked the gameplay. Uh, if you have, please do like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, do leave them. They're very welcome. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much.